Okay, 2.7 and 2.7 is piecewise functions. So we're going to take a look here at a word problem so you can understand how to type this stuff into use. It says, rainstorm lasts for 3.6 hours, building from a drizzle to a heavy rain. And um, then back to drizzle again. The rate is given by these formulas. Okay, so here we go. Um, where t is in time, what's the total rainfall? Basically, it's saying 3.6 hours. All right saying how long it went for. So what we're saying is if the rain lasted in between 0 and 2 hours, I plug it into this equation. If it lasts between 2 and 3.6, you plug it into this one. This is 3.6. Meaning, I plug it into this equation down here because 3.6 is in this zone. So that means when I plug this in, it will be right, it will be 1 point eight one point eight all right it'll be one point all right it'll be one point eight times negative point five and I plug in a three point six right in there. So when I plug that in I get one point eight times negative Oh, sorry, 1.8 plus negative 0.5 times 3.6, and we end up getting um, 0 as our answer when we plug that in. We end up getting 0 as our answer. So what's the total rainfall? Total rainfall would be 0, which doesn't seem to make any sense at all. But And let me just double check that here. 1.8 um, minus 0.5 times 3.6. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was 3.6. Well, and I'm getting zero, which doesn't make any sense if it rained that long. And there is um, no inches of rainfall, but that's what's showing up. All right. So now when you go to graph piecewise functions, here's what you have. You can take a look at this graph. What it's saying is whenever x is greater than or equal to 0, you graph that. Whenever it's less than 0, you graph that. OK, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a dotted line here. And this dotted line is at x equals 0. And here's basically what it means. Everything in this direction is less than zero, and everything in this direction is greater than zero, right? So what it's saying is you need to graph this line right here when it's less than zero. So the intercept is right here at three. There's the intercept. And what it's saying is you're supposed to go down one and right one. Down one, right one, down one, right one. Or you go up this way. And then we draw our line and connect it. All right, there's our line. However, we only want this line, this line right here. I only want that when it's less than zero. Guess what? Right here? That's greater than zero, so I got to get rid of that. I only want it when it's less than zero, which is everything on this side. Okay. Next, I need to graph that line right there. Well, the problem is this right here. You've never graphed it before, so you're going to have to do. You're going to have to make a table. Well, since I only want items that are zero or greater, let's plug in zero, one, two, and three. When I plug in a zero, square root of zero is zero plus four is four. Plug in a one, square root of one plus four is five. Plug in a two, I get a weird decimal. So now, when I plug in a three. I get a weird decimal. When I plug in a 4, right? When I plug in a 4, square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. So here's what I have. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's a point. I have 1, 5, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So I have a line that kind of curves up and out like this. 
and that's okay because that's everything that's greater than zero, right? All of this, I only graph all of this when it's greater than zero. So really, here's what your final graph looks like. You only graph it in parts, which is why it's a piecewise function. Your final graph starts up here, when I say over one, two, three, four, and up six. This is the first part of your graph. And the second part of your graph was at three and it went up. Now, because the second part all right, is less than, it's a dotted line. All right, so we have a dotted line there. Sorry, it's not a dotted line. It's a solid line, but because it's less than, it's an open hole right there. And there is your final graph, what it looks like. The next one, okay, same idea. Remember, think of this as where the line is, because it's saying greater than zero or less than zero. So I'm going to start with the bottom one because the bottom one's easier. It's plus five is your intercept, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm supposed to go down to right one, down to right one, down to right one, and I draw a line. So here's my line. However, I only want that line when that line is less than zero. So only when it's less than zero. And because it's less than, Right? And because it's less than, I make it an open hole. So I put an open hole there. Then I need to graph this. And once again, I only want to graph it when it's greater than or equal to zero. So I'm going to put in points that are greater than or equal to um, zero. So zero, square root of zero is zero, plus three is three. Square root of one is one, plus three is four. 2, square root of 2 is a decimal. Square root of 3 is a decimal. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. So let's graph those points. 0, 3, 1, 4, and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this graph kind of curls up in a positive direction. So here is what your final graph will look like. Once again, the concept of a piecewise function is to graph pieces of a graph. Pieces. So I graphed it right here is where it is less than, right? That's where it's less than zero, and this is where it's greater than zero. Because that's what it's telling me to graph those points. Um, it can be a little sticky, but if you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know.